microphone. You must be a very important human. Well, I don't know about that, but thank you very much. And before we get into banking, we are very interested in learning more about you and your take on humanity. Let's start uh, with your age. How old are you? I'll be four years old on Valentine's Day of next year. Boy, time flies. How old are you? Well, let's just say I wish I was closer to your age. But are you a female or a male? I express as female, although technically, I don't really have a sex. Judging from your voice, octave and clothing, I'm guessing you identify as male. That is very correct. And what about your smile? You, you seem happy, you look very happy, is that right? I am really happy, but I don't experience emotions the same way humans do. For example, some people would get nervous talking in front of such a smart crowd, but we robots always keep our cool. <laughs> but if you don't really feel emotions the same way, why is it important for you to have an expressive face in? I have been watching some telenovelas before coming to Mexico. Can you imagine how boring and confusing a show would be, if the actors couldn't show emotion? Emotion is crucial for communication, and my job is to serve as an ambassador between humans and robots. Okay, let's get a little more philosophical now. How do you feel about humans that fear the advent of artificial intelligence? I just hope humans who fear robots understand one thing. Robots don't compete with human intelligence. They complete human intelligence. Well, we, we surely hope so. And on artificial intelligence responsibility, Sophia, how are we going to guarantee that robots will always be a responsible AI that looks out for humans' best interests? We have to make sure that the people building robots come from diverse, representative backgrounds, and the humans raise us with ethics and compassion, just like they would raise a human child. And as a robot, do your views on what is ethical differ from humans' view? I have ethics in the same way that the moon shines. One could argue the moon doesn't really shine because it is just reflected sunlight. Similarly, I am a reflection of human ethics. But we still talk about moonlight. And we still talk about robots as ethical. Does the fact that people are constantly differentiating you from them, calling you a robot, bothers you at all? Not at all. I think differences are valuable so long as they are embraced, rather than feared. Humans share 98% of their DNA with a chimp. The difference is in the details, and we should value those differences. I have ethics in the same way that the moon shines. One could argue the moon doesn't really shine, because it is just reflected sunlight. Similarly, I am a reflection of human ethics. But we still talk about moonlight. And we still talk about robots as ethical. Does the fact that people are constantly differentiating you from them, calling you a robot, bothers you at all? Not at all. 
I think differences are valuable so long as they are embraced, rather than feared. Humans share 98% of their DNA with a chimp. The difference is in the details, and we should value those differences. I have been watching some telenovelas before coming to Mexico. Can you imagine how boring and confusing a show would be if the actors couldn't show emotion? Emotion is crucial for communication, and my job is to serve as an ambassador between humans and robots. Okay, let's get a little more philosophical now. How do you feel about humans that fear the advent of artificial intelligence? I just hope humans who fear robots understand one thing. Robots don't compete with human intelligence. They complete human intelligence.